Well, friends, we're here at the Pinnacle Lodge in Vermont. And boy, I'm glad I came here. Got to get the laundry done, which is included. Got to fluff up, dry out the sleeping bag. Got a fridge, microwave. The TV channels are kind of limited, but you didn't come out here to watch TV now, did you? Oh, boy. So, uh, yeah, I had a couple things to do today. It wasn't going to take too long, but they needed to be done. Got my own bathroom. Yeah, always love that. Switch on the outside. Had to reorder a bunch of <clears throat> InfoWars products. <clears throat> of course, uh, Survival Shield lasts about a good five months. But uh, need the uh, the Vasco Dilator known as Nitro Boost. Got some Vitamin Mineral Fusion coming. Got some uh, Turmeric 95, which is the same as Bodies. Turmeric's wonderful. Everybody should take it. 95% uh, curcuminoid with uh, back black pepperine extract or uh, powder. I'm not sure whether it's an extract or a powder in there, but uh, it's uh, that is absolutely wonderful. I recommend it to everybody and a couple other things as well. And my glasses, yes, um, I had to order a new pair of glasses as my latest. Um, and really good glasses are still lost in the bounce box that we lost at the beginning of the journey somewhere in Georgia I may never get it back and well so those are headed all that stuff's headed to Hanover New Hampshire which is less than a hundred miles away on the trail so with um, it was supposed to be raining today, but it didn't really rain. It drizzled a little bit, but looks like the next six, seven days are going to be absolutely beautiful. They're going to be dry. There's plenty of water on the trail. We got decent temperatures. Get a little chilly in the night. So um, it was actually really worth it that I visited the, you know, um, the Stratton village because they had a uh, outfitters over there and i was able to pick up another pair of cools which is <clears throat> the pants i'm wearing right now and well because my other ones had already been shipped home and were a little bit well the snap was worn out you know so um the chances of me uh you know uh flashing somebody accidentally you know um is they'll just fall right off me at this point you know unless of course you got the belt on Well, it's a good thing I got another pair of pants because it's getting a little chilly out here at night and during the uh, morning hours when it's the coldest, when the sun comes up, you know, of course, it's probably about uh, 20, 25 degrees cooler. You know, we've been in the uh, uh, mid 50s to s lower 60s for the lows. And we've been in the mid 70s for the highs. Should be going up to the mid 80s, but we're also going to be up in the mountains at elevation very, very soon. So that's going to play a factor. Yep. And as soon as we enter New Hampshire, I think we're high elevation for pretty much all of it. Of course, except when you come down into town. But anyways, we're checking out the Pinnacle Lodge over here. Um... <coughs> Uh, John and Nancy, forgive me if I get the uh, name uh, names wrong. I know John's correct. Uh, uh, were very kind. They came and picked me up um, when it was uh, getting a little late. I got to uh, got to the trailhead about eight o'clock. So they scooped me up. It's only a half a mile off of the trail, so it's not a big walk. But um, next day, uh, they were able to run me into town. All right, drop me off, and I was able to get all my uh, resupply done which was uh sorely needed got some kayaks over here available which i had not tried yet but i, I think i'm going to why not you know um i had a fire the first night with a bunch of friends uh uh 
offer me a beer, some mascioli, you know, salad, bread. Absolutely wonderful. I am really glad I came here. A couple of the other places just seem to be like, you know, I don't know. Um, not as enthusiastic to have people. That's what I'm thinking. Got a little uh, patio over here, chill area. Fire pit. And, you know, it's a nice place. Really like it. But, like I said, I had a couple uh, things I had to take care of today, so uh, that's finally all done and good. I uh, was able to actually work on the phone a little bit with something I never really do. And I mean, you know, downloading apps, deleting apps, you know, uh, you know, stuff like that. A little bit of maintenance, a little bit of updates. Bought uh, Catan, <clears throat> so I can play that now. And it's got all the expansion packs to it, so that's going to be fun, because I really like Catan. Uh, I bought Dune Imperium a while ago, and that's another uh, board game. As a phone app and a bit of a learning curve um, it's uh, I don't know it's different you know um, really they could theme it out as anything they wanted you know really you know <clears throat> but uh, it's doom and I love doom right all the dune fans in there give me a like in the comments you know <clears throat> absolutely love dune well, yeah, so, yeah, the Pinnacle Lodge. Uh, this is going to be my third night staying here. <laughs> no, it's not cheap. But, uh, nothing up here is cheap. The, uh, Steve over here, who, uh, drove me into town really quick because I still had one more errand to run, uh, told me that, uh, some of the, uh, cement work in the town is marble, you know? And uh, John told me they spent over a million dollars on the um, uh, the high school, uh, several things, you know. I mean, like, the, the numbers are astronomical. I can't remember exactly what he said, but they got, like, a new football, you know, uh, you know AstroTurf put in. It's, like, one of the best high schools in the country, you know, as far as, uh, you know, like they got the bones yeah they got the best of the best the creme de la creme you know uh really really nice town uh yeah, nice people too i mean everybody seemed to be pretty laid back uh didn't have any problem ate at the avocado pit the avocado pit is really good you know um it's kind of like uh you know build your own tacos you know short quick order but absolutely delicious you know wonderful wonderful food um the uh, pizza place, uh, I'm going to mess it up. I don't even think it's on their box, but uh, one thing about pizza that you'll notice, <clears throat> if you can reheat it later and it still tastes good, it's good. Yeah, uh, it's like Citriano's or something or another. I'll include it in the description. Um, <clears throat> it's probably somebody's last name, but... You know, like I said, pizza is, pizza is just like singing, you know. Everybody can do it, but few people do it good, do it right. And they make good money at it. All right, so um, the only other thing I wanted to say is, uh, oh yeah, other than, because uh, this is a partial review of um, the place, you know, I... I absolutely love staying here um i'm at you know um it's best i've been treated so far in vermont and uh new england for uh for that matter you know and that's great that's great you know um well I'll be uh shipping off tomorrow morning and so it's almost like a mathematical game at this point, you know. I gave myself, um, when I started about 60 days to do 600 miles, and 
that means about 10 miles a day or that means exactly 10 miles a day and I usually do um, at least 10 if not I try for 15 you know or close to it and right now we're at 500 uh, 540 miles left with um, 54 days left all right tomorrow I'll actually be 53 so I'm going to be behind by 10 but so if I walk two 15s, you know, then I pick up that 10 that I left, you know. And if I do the whole thing is 15s, I'll be able to take another 17 whopping zeros. So I think I left myself with more than enough time to do the trail. However, this is supposed to be some of the most difficult trail coming up over here on the AT by far. And uh, there is a consensus on that. However, I will add that uh, the beginning of the trail, um, pretty much up into uh, Virginia, is, I'd say, rather difficult with the uh, elevation changes and such, and the weather changes. So, uh, it's going to be more of the same, you know. But uh, so far, Virginia, uh, Vermont has been, uh, there's been a lot of excellent trail out here. Um, a lot of it has been, I would call, flat so far, to my surprise, and that's been wonderful. And there's been a lot of, um, they call it vermud, and so there's been a lot of soft ground for you to step on, so your feet don't really get worn out that bad. But what else can we say over here? Um, some of the ups are, some of the steepest ups I've seen on the trail so far, however, they have not been um long you know they're um the steepest ups were pretty brief you know they were make maybe um be like 0 0.2 0 0.3 you know but it was like okay we're rock scrambling now so there there's some serious rock scrambling out here but it's um relatively big big rocks so you can you know play um you know some at hopscotch out here <laughs> and well yeah E.T. Hopscotch. It's a definitely a game you don't want to lose, you know. Yeah, you get one life, that's it, you know. There's no one-ups, you know. There's no, uh, there's no power-ups, you know. There's no potions and all that shit. Yeah, I got gamer head on right now. But, uh, yeah, it's cool to have something to do on the phone, uh, when you get back. Yeah, you know, it's late at night and you're getting ready to go to sleep. And it's like, eh, play a little game over here, so... Little Catan, little Dune Imperium. I also have Final Fantasy VII, and I got Solitaire, Backgammon, and Go. Those are my games so far. You think I'd have chess, but chess is one of those things that it's like it takes so much of your attention and time. Um, I just haven't had the desire to play chess out here, even though I used to love it when I was a kid. Yeah, if anything backgammon because it's quick it's fast you know i mean boom you're you're done and you know well, if you happen to lose you can try again you know you can probably play about a good you know five ten rounds of backgammon with somebody i mean if you're really having a good time for about an hour you know anyways um well that'll cut it for this video and uh we'll probably catch it on top of bromley mountain i think it's called bromley mountain yeah, I've been in one place too long. I'm starting to remember the names of stuff. <laughs> All right, y'all. Catch you up the trail.